So in here, we are adding more features to our database class. So let's go ahead and do that. So now, if you remember last time, we checked to see uh, the way we instantiate our class is by calling this function here, the static function, and then it returns our connection, which is up there. Okay. But however, we can't do much with our connection only. We need also the instance of the whole class so that we can work with the functions that we want to create that are here. So for example, the read function here. So this one will be a public function to read from the database. I will call this one read. And then we'll have one more that will do the writing to the database. So I will replace this one with uh, write. So there'll be read and write. Okay, great. But these are instanced functions. They are not static like these ones here. So we will require an instance of this whole class in order to get these to work. So how we do that is instead of returning the connection, let's return the instance itself. So I can do this, either do this, return A like so, or I can simply put the return in the same line like this. Okay, something like that. So we are returning this now, the instance of this whole class. So just to be specific, you can just say instance, instance is equal to new self. Okay. So I think that uh, sorts everything out. Okay, great. Now let's do some reading of the database. So inside here on the read, we're going to supply, the user will supply two things. So I'll press control so I can type in here at the same time. The thing they'll supply is the query and then they will supply some data, but sometimes data won't be there. So we'll put is equal to an empty array like so. But, uh, I think this isn't valid, so let's do array like so. Okay, so that we have an empty array here. So this becomes an optional value, but the query is required. So let's begin by doing a read first because it's much more difficult. So I will begin by getting a connection. So the connection is equal to now. Actually, we already have the connection right here, so we don't need to set it to anything. We'll just be using self because it's a static value. So you have to use self. So it will be like this. So let me copy that. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is prepare our statement because we're going to be using prepared statements to avoid uh, hacking problems, of course. So I'm going to say statement. I'll use a shortcut like that. Is equal to prepare. Uh, prepare like that. Okay, so we will use the connection like this con prepare like so. So we're preparing the query. So once the query was prepared, we're going to use now the statement to execute. So we're going to say um, result like this is equal to statement execute like so and then we will put whatever data is in there we will put it in the execute like so but for now I want to run something uh, that actually without data okay we will put some dummy data there that will be fine or oh, let's leave it open for now for testing purposes okay and then now we're going to fetch our query here so I'm going to say our data is equal to the statement. So statement fetch all like this. And then of course I want to fetch a PDO. Uh, wait, how is this one? I think it's like this. I keep forgetting these things. So let's do PDO, boom, boom. Okay, so now you understand where this comes from. It's the same as uh, this self connection. This is a static 
uh, static value of the PDO class. Okay, so then we'll do that. And then, now if we check if data is an array, if data, forgot to put the is array, if is array data, like so, and then let's return the data. Ooh. However, if it doesn't work out, let's return false. So we can know that uh, things didn't go well. And then here also, before we try to fetch anything, I think it's good to check if the result was good. So we'll say if result like that, then let's put everything in here over there like so something like this okay so our query we prepare we execute and then we fetch and then we return that so let's uh, give it a shot and see if we will get any result back so let's try it down here we're going to say db uh, is equal to database get instance like so where we get our instance now if this is too long for you to type you can simply go to the database class and change it to db capital letters uh, that should work as well that way you just have to type db here instead of database but uh, that's all right so once we have our instance now we can just say db uh, read like this our query is going to be something like um, describe users because we know that's the users table so we want it to show us the description of the users table because we know that one is actually there so I'm going to assign that to data is equal to and then finally, I will display my data using my function called show. I will do that data. Okay, so we've created our instance and then we uh, we read from there and then we're trying to display the data. So let's see if nothing goes wrong. I will refresh this. And as you can see now, everything went correctly because we have the data showing us the fields. So there's email, there's name, there's password, and there's ID and URL address. So this means uh, everything is working fine. Okay, so this is uh, good to go. However, there are certain times you, you need to add some data here. So we will put some data here. I will put this data there. So let me see if that actually works. Okay, so that still works just fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everything uh, looks great. Let me remove this. And now the writing part is almost exactly like this. The only difference is we are not fetching anything. So let me just copy this and paste in here. So we will prepare the query as usual, and then we will uh, execute. And then what will we do? Check the result. If the result is good, all we do is return a true. So let me remove this. Just to show that things went well, so true. Just like that. Okay, so this is the function we call to write to the database and this one for reading. So how do you know if this is a read or a write? The question is, are you expecting any data back? So if you're expecting information back, then you use read. If you're not expecting any information back, you use write. So for example, delete is write because we are not expecting any data back. Okay, so this completes our database class. That's everything we need right there. So if you want to be very professional, you can put some documentation on everything. For example, you put uh, comments like this. I haven't been putting comments uh, for unknown reason. 
they usually write it like this like so and then you can put uh, something some information like uh, this is the database class so you can do the same thing for every function uh, construct let's say here read from database something like this so i must emphasize that commenting is very very important because in future you will come back to read your own code and it will look like uh, gibberish something you've never seen before so it is important to write comments for your own sake in future you can refer to the same thing again write to database okay very good okay so so far so good i will see you in the next video where we actually do an actual sign up